In the previous video, we looked at question pages within a lesson in Moodle 2.0. Now we will look briefly at clusters, which are groups of questions displayed to the student in a random order. Go to your lesson in your Moodle course and make sure you are on the Edit tab. In the Add a New Page drop-down menu, choose Add a Cluster. This will add the marker to start the question cluster. As you can see, the default jump for this is to go to an unseen question within the cluster. Then, add questions as you did in the previous lesson. Here are a few pointers for adding your cluster questions. To have the students see every question within the cluster just once and get a score at the end, make the jump for every answer, whether correct or incorrect, point back at the cluster start. If you would like your students to go through the set of questions and get questions they answered incorrectly returned to them until they answer them correctly, and only progress to the next part of the lesson if they have answered all the questions in the cluster correctly, point all answer jumps in the cluster to unseen question within the cluster. Once you have all your questions, put an end of cluster after the last question. If this question cluster is at the end of the lesson, you can simply leave the jump for the end of the cluster as it is. If there are more pages to the lesson, you will need to change the jump on the end of cluster to point specifically to the next page, rather than just pointing to next page. I will show you what I mean. After this cluster of questions, I would like the students to progress onto the next content page. So I'm going to change this next page jump to point to that page specifically and save. 